picking up and rebuilding your life after crisis. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics, as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All channel names are pinned to the top of the comment section or description box below. You know, I got to thinking about after the crisis. You know, my husband got diagnosed about four and a half, five months ago with a, a very bad cancer. He has now undergone massive chemotherapy and is done with the chemotherapy. We actually won't know the outcome probably for a period of time yet, but we're hopeful, we're believing in miracles, and we're believing in total wellness. In that midst of all that, I took sick, as you all well know, because I talked about that in another video. They never were really able to determine what was going on with me, at least up to this point, and I'm probably 95% better, 90 to 95% better, and I hope I continue and be 100% well and stay well. That was abdominal issues that I was having. They, they thought perhaps Perhaps it was an allergic reaction, and so I'm kind of chalking it up to that at this point, an allergic reaction. And so anyhow, what I wanted to talk about is after the crisis. Now, I'm not saying that we're through the crisis. I'm saying that we're on the other end of the chemo. We're on the, um, you know, I'm on the uptick, at least hopefully continuous, continues as where I'm feeling good. And so what happens, as I talked about when you go through a crisis, how it refines you, changes you, often puts you on a new path, a new direction in life, and it has done all of that with us. And I've talked about that. I'm remodeling my house. I'm uh, tidying things up in my life so that when I'm old, like 100 years old, I hope, um, and I decide to sell my house, it'll be ready for sale. It'll be immaculate. It'll be showroom ready so I won't have to do that on a moment's notice. It'll all be ready like a lot. Lot of older people do and hopefully I live here forever and that's what I want and yet um, I'm doing that it's put me on so many different new directions positive directions it, although I'm always you know keeping my life very fresh it even pushed me forwards in so many ways that I probably would not have gone in and I've talked about that before in the other videos so after the crisis after it's all over and um, when you're through and on the other side of it maybe it's not in entirely over, um, yet you're still not certain about some things, but you're coming out. You're on the other end. There's a beginning, a middle, and an ending to a crisis, and I'm praying that we are towards the ending of the crisis. It totally refines. It totally changes you. It totally points you in a new direction, and you pray that your life is going to change in a most positive way, and you're going to take what you learned through that crisis and let it reshape your life in the best of ways ways. And coming through a crisis, you tend to have far more compassion with somebody and people going through crises than even when you did before. You may have been a very compassionate person before, and yet you're probably more so, more understanding whatever kind of crisis you're going through, a marital crisis, a health crisis, a financial crisis, a job crisis, a family crisis, a kid crisis, whatever the crisis happens to be, you are much more understanding of people going through crises. And so I am praying that we are on the other side of the crisis um, and going in that direction. I don't take anything for granted or as a given, but I'm praying for that. My husband is doing much better. Um, he's still struggling with the aftermath and the after effects of massive doses of chemo. Um, he has had such an amazing positive attitude. I also, you know, I was really feeling terrible there for a while, very miserable to say the least, I was miserable. And um, for about, you know, well, this it was about six weeks ago that it really started and a little bit before that in other ways. And, and so, but I'm feeling fantastic compared to how I felt five weeks ago. Let's put it that way. Okay, so let's keep praying. Let's hope that I, you know, stay well and my husband gets well and that anybody else that needs, you know, to be well, we pray for their wellness and um, complete healing and complete wellness. So um, keep up the faith. I think uh, uh, when you come out over on the other side of crisis, whether you're completely through it or almost through it or half, you know, wherever you're at in the crisis, it does refine you, it does change you. And I think ultimately it makes you a better person, even though it may not seem like it at the time, it refines you in ways. And, and none of us want crisis, none of us welcome it. It's not the way, the given way to choose to make positive changes in your life, 
but you know when you do go through one especially one you didn't create didn't cause things like that um, you just have to do the very best you can at getting through it. Keep hopeful, keep believing, keep positive attitudes, surround yourself with positive people, positive inspiration, positive music, positive reading, um, anything that's positive, keep that hope going. No matter what the reality may seem to be, keep hopeful, okay? And hope, keep hope alive always. And keep believing and, and like I said, speak positive words over your life and over the lives of others. From my house to yours, may Heavenly Father bless you. And I hope to talk to you all soon again. And I do hope you like, share, subscribe. Hope to talk to you then. Bye-bye.